Most people in developing countries aspire to a richer, better life. These people know how we in the West live, and they refuse to be left behind. The highest standard of living the world has ever known has been built on an ever-increasing use of energy, and there is no end in sight. We've made great strides in making everything more energy efficient, from jumbo jets to television sets. But despite that, we've increased our use of energy. Not only do we fly more, but there's a TV on the back of the seat. Couldn't we all just cut back and learn to live with less energy? Why can't we live greener, reduce our consumption, buy local and just travel less? Denmark wanted to maintain its high standard of living and reduce dependence on fossil fuels. So it bet its future on wind power. Should we follow in their footsteps? Or could massive solar, like this plant in Morocco, be the answer? Some believe that ethanol, as a biofuel, was going to help to solve our energy problems. Now it appears to be a dead end. But fracking, under these same fields, is now creating a boom in natural gas, especially here in the United States. It's the cleanest burning fossil fuel we've got, and it seems we're finding more of it every day. But can we live with the trade-offs? The most ambitious transformation of a country's energy sector is taking place right now here in Germany. The specter of potential nuclear disaster has moved Germany away from nuclear and toward wind and solar energy, but not without unintended consequences. My name is Johan Norberg. I am a writer and an analyst born and raised in Sweden. Here in the United States, I encounter great concern about our growing need for energy and its costs, financial and environmental. Right now, we are relying heavily on fossil fuels, and a lot of people are concerned about global warming. How are we going to maintain our standard of living, reduce our impact on the planet, and still get power to the people?